This mural started a few days ago, and as you can see, it's only continued to grow. We spoke with neighbors who tell us it's already helping them have some tough conversations with their children. It grows more every day. I expect for it to cover the entire fence by the end of the week. When a Deer Creek homeowner first asked her neighbor to tag her fence with the words Black Lives Matter, she never expected this. It kind of took a life of its own. Colorful chalk now lining the fence line of Anitra and Court Thomas's home. The mural starting just two days ago and hasn't stopped growing from there. We want this to be an opportunity for our neighbors, our white peers to use this as an opportunity to use their voice to speak out to the injustice that's going on in our community, in their communities, because their voices help our voices be louder too. You can see here neighbors stopping by to add their own messages to the mural, showing not just support for the Thomas family, but for the entire black community. We love our black neighbors, and um, this is just one small way we've been able to help propel that. In a neighborhood full of children, parents also using it to help talk to their kids about racism. It also served as a catalyst for an important conversation with my four year old and to me to talk about why we love this family, but also just the black community. It was a very natural way to kind of segue that conversation. The family now hopeful it will set an example for other communities. To anybody who's having a, a conversation with their kids and it's uncomfortable, that's what bravery is. Things get left unsaid because they're uncomfortable. So something like this creates a safe space in which to have the conversation. In Deer Creek, Jacqueline Chapel, Oklahoma's News 4. One of the neighbors talked with News 4 later on in the day, wanting to share a message with the family. And we have that letter in full on our website at KFOR.com.